Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the difference between balanced and unbalanced signals. If you're a musician, you're probably already very familiar with this quarter inch instrument cable. You know, we use it to connect guitars to amplifiers, pedals to other pedals. You're also probably comfortable using XLR cables to connect microphones up to your PA system. But if you are like me, you're probably less familiar with when to use a TRS cable. Why do we use TRS cables? And why can't we just use a quarter inch instrument cable if it still works? Well, let's try this out in my studio and let's see what happens. Okay, so what I've done is I've recorded just a direct in guitar signal using my Audient ID14 here. Now that's in the computer and I'm gonna play back that direct signal out of output number one here. And I'm gonna send that into my Axe FX XL Plus here, and then I'm going to record the output of the Axe Effects right back into channel number one, into input number one here on the interface, and we should be able to hear the difference between whether or not I'm using just this regular quarter inch instrument cable, and the second time around I'm going to use this TRS cable. Alright, so I've got that hooked in there. And then I've got that going into just the instrument input here on the front panel of the Axe FX. And coming out of the back of the Axe FX is just my standard XLR output. I'm going to keep that the same both times. And so I should be able to play the dry signal right from my computer out the interface into the Axe FX 2 and then I'll get my signal back in here. And we should be able to hear the difference between the quarter inch, just TS cable, and then the TRS cable. So did you hear a difference? Probably not, unless you know what you're listening for. Let me play back just the silence. And I'm also going to increase the level by about 10 dB. So the quarter inch instrument cable is producing a lot more noise than the TRS cable. This is only a five foot cable run. With longer cable runs or using more cables, the difference between this instrument cable and the TRS cable is only going to get more pronounced. To explain why there's a difference, let's go to my whiteboard. So our instrument cable has two different wires on it. It has the ground wire, and then it has the signal wire, which is actually carrying uh, the signal that we're hearing. And then in our TRS cable, it's got three different wires. It has that same ground wire, that same signal wire, but then it has this third wire, which is just an inverse of the signal wire. It's just the exact opposite of what this black one is. So we have our signal, you have your normal polarity, and then you have the reverse polarity signal. And when you add these two together, they are going to cancel each other out. And so what happens is in our cable, we have all this noise that's going to get introduced, right? And the same thing happens in the TRS cable. We have noise, and that gets picked up by both of our cables there, the signal and the inverse cable. And in our unbalanced situation, our TS cable, all that happens is this noise that's introduced, we hear that in our finished signal. But in the balance, the TRS signal, what happens with this noise is we take these two signals and we subtract them from one another and it cancels out this noise, just like a humbucking pickup on a guitar might do versus a single coil pickup. You could think of the unbalanced cable as your single coil pickup and your balanced cable as your humbucking pickup where it's canceling out the noise. And so when we look at our waveforms here, instead of adding these together, what we do 
is we subtract them. And this is what our gear is doing whenever it's saying there's a balanced input or a balanced output is it's creating these two different opposite signals. And when you have noise introduced in your, your cable run, say we've got like this waveform here of noise that gets introduced. You can see right there, it's gonna be the same waveform in both the positive polarity and the negative polarity. And when we subtract those out, these two red ones just cancel each other out and you're left with just this clean original signal. And so ultimately that's the difference between an unbalanced output and a balanced output. The balanced output is gonna give you this inverse polarity signal as well as the regular polarity signal. And you can use those to cancel out the noise. And sure, you can still use a TS cable where there's a balanced output, but you're not gonna get this benefit of the noise cancellation. So now you know the advantage of using a TRS cable instead of just a regular instrument cable when your gear has balanced inputs and outputs available. It's also worth noting that an XLR cable is hosting that same balanced signal that our TRS cable is hosting. It just has a different connector. So that's the end of the video. If you found this content useful or informative, please do me a favor and drop a like. And also be sure to subscribe for more content. I'm going to be posting weekly videos about different things I've learned as my 10 plus years as a working musician. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.